Welcome to Joey's podcast, and uh, today we have Jonathan Guajardo with us. This podcast is about helping other people, so mm-hmm. um, I thought you would be a perfect person to come in and work with me on our first interview because uh, Johnny owns GA Media Productions, and GA Media Productions uh, goes out and shoots videos, photography, uh, virtual walkthroughs, 360 videos, all that stuff. But beyond that, uh, you also, um, you know, you've you've been helping people for a long time. A little while. Every yeah. now and then. And, uh, I mean, I met, when I met you, you were running for student government, and then uh, you were a student of mine at, at the University of Incarnate Word, and uh, you were in my Convergent Media program, and uh, quickly you kind of worked with a bunch of other students to build the Convergent Media student organization. Mm-hmm. And uh, that was just kind of like one of those things where, I don't know, I felt like you and uh, my business partner, Dreamanoids, uh, Christian Rios, uh, you all really just kind of took it and ran with it. And so um, I've always just kind of been intrigued by uh, your willingness to help other people and how you've always just kind of gone out there. And um, I don't know, something really unique about you is that like whether it's uh, – something you agree with or not you're always looking to show support for something if it's something you believe in yeah meaning like uh like you might not be politically aligned with the group but if you understand what they're trying to do and you think that it's important you'll like still support it yeah so uh anyways um i just wanted to kind of like uh introduce you and then uh, if you could just tell us a little bit about like how you think you kind of got to where you're at like with, with kind of having that attitude? Well, uh, okay, so um, <clears throat> I've been doing uh, GA Media for a little while, but before that, as, as you mentioned, uh, you know, I was doing, of course, uh, all the stuff at UIW, and uh, you know, as far as, as, far as uh, helping build convergent media and uh, working with, with the student government over there, uh, and uh, being student body president and all that. And uh, so, so, I mean, as far as like, I guess the, the question is kind of where I got my men- mentality. So yeah. We, we, okay. Okay. Uh, well, I mean, like growing up, uh, I was I, I was always taught, you know, just kind of have an open mind about stuff, you know, and like if someone doesn't think the same way you do, it's okay, it's, because there's always some common ground you can agree on, you know, and uh, so it's not really uh, it's not really about like oh I'm right and you're wrong and you know we got to have this struggle back and forth. I mean, you, you can disagree on stuff and that's totally fine. Like it's okay to disagree and it's okay that they have a different opinion than you. Uh, and you may think your opinion is completely right, and, uh, but it doesn't mean that there's not some valid points in theirs. And so understanding that, that they, have, uh, you know, they have a reason why they believe what they believe, and, you know, and, and they have you know, experiences that, that back that up, and uh, you, know, you have experiences that back up what you believe also, so there's no reason to, to discount someone's experiences or what they've gone through just because it's not what you believe in. So I, I always try to, you know, uh, like talk to the people who don't necessarily align with me. Like, uh, I mean, not 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 always politically, but uh, uh, in terms of uh, just uh, is it really like coming from from different areas, having different different uh, um, points of, of reference. Yeah. Uh, and I I think in a way that it helps broaden you know uh, you as well you know as a uh, you know as an individual you can grow more and not just be super one sided. You know, it can help you grow your your um, kind of like your understanding, your personality, your Weltanschlagung, as they would say, you know, yeah. your world view. <laughs> but yeah, it's kind of like a, like you and I can agree to disagree about Kanye West. Exactly, exactly. You know? Like I think that's a pretty good example. That's a, that's a good example for, right for, there. So it just it's just right off the bat. I mean, you know? and we don't have to know. say where we stand. You we know, don't, they don't, don't have to know. We don't. We don't know. You know, but Kanye is one of the greatest artists of our generation. So you know, that's a that's a, that's a thing. Which is know. a great debate to have. Yes. <laughs> it is. It is. Yes. <laughs> but uh but yeah so uh so it can be as truly uh, trivial as that or um you know one of the things that that uh, also uh i always found intriguing was just how you um were able to talk to uh, uh large groups of people and how you were able to kind of just uh find the i don't i guess personality is not the right word but find it within you to kind of like go beyond yourself uh, especially when you don't have to. That makes sense. Okay. Because so, like yeah. you were, uh, I think you were student body president of 
of your high school too, right? No, I wasn't president. I was oh. uh, I was in student council all, oh, all student four council. years. Oh, student council. But I, uh, I wasn't president. Okay. Uh, I was a parliamentarian. Oh, all right. So I, I had all the rules down. Dang. I was the rules guy. The rules guy. I was the rules guy. And uh, and then uh, when you got to UIW, you uh, just started like meeting more people and yeah. got interested in it again, or what? Well, when I when I, when I got to UIW, I mean, the, 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 for the first time that I was there for a little while, like, I wasn't very. I mean, I, I was engaged with it, but like for the, for the first year or so, I just didn't know what I was doing. I was I was like, man, I I, I, I kind of like, what wasn't really happy where I was at, you know, and uh, and. Part of that was just my own mindset, making it that way, yeah. and, and, the, and the other part of it was, you know, was that I really just, just didn't try to reach out to a lot of people, and so uh, I figured a good way to do that would be to run for student government, because I, you know, I did that when I was at Central in high school, and uh, and I and I thought that, you know, maybe it'd be a good good entry path into it, you know, and uh, it ended up working out, and I, you know, I ended up liking it, so I nice. kind of went from there, but uh, yeah. Yeah, and. Um and so, uh, once you graduated, you kind of just went and started your own company. How did, like, how, like entrepreneurially, like, that's one of the things we talk about a lot is entrepreneurship. Like, how did you decide to do that? Well, uh, uh, entrepreneur, being an entrepreneur has kind of, like, been always something I wanted to do. My dad's an entrepreneur, and so he's been a huge inspiration for me. So, that's always something that, that I always considered doing after I graduated was going and starting my own business, whether it's in, you know, whatever industry it was going to be in. Uh, my dad's is, is in architecture, but uh, my mine uh, went in the direction of media, and so I, I always knew that that like I had the capability of doing it, and uh, you know it's both you know uh, my parents you know friends you, uh, you of course uh, you know really encouraged me like like oh you know you can do this you know and like people are doing it and I I met people through Convergent Media who had done it before, and so I'm like all right I'm just gonna try it out and uh, see where it goes you know and it's very different from coming from a college environment to just working for yourself, you know, it's very, very different, you know. But, uh, I mean, I, I enjoyed it and I, uh, you know, it's something that, that I want to keep doing. Yeah, yeah. And, um, so, so like I said, like, this was one of, the, you know, I wanted to have this interview because, like, I've been wanting to uh, start interviewing people and, like I said, one of the things that I wanted to, like, kind of just make clear as we, as we talked was just, how uh, you have kind of gone out of your way to uh, always try and be uh, at your next level and not just like from an entrepreneurial standpoint, but just like from a person in general in terms of helping others and things like that. And, you know, one of the things that you and I uh, went through together was uh, the passing of Cameron Reedus mm -hmm. and, you know, uh, kind of going through that, that situation where, you know, one of your uh, peers passed away and one of my students passed away. And, um, and it was something that really kind of, uh, I don't know, it was really neat to see you uh, kind of help everybody come together. I didn't know if, um, if not if you had something to say about that, because obviously we all have something to say about that, but like how as a leader you kind of got through that, like what were some of the things you had to do? Well, <clears throat> I mean that that was one of the most difficult things that I, I've had to do like ever, you know. And uh, I mean I, I I took like some of the experiences that I had and like bringing people together, and uh, you know wanted to use it to help Cameron's family and you know uh, help the university and you know the university heal mm -hmm. you know all the students, uh, as you know th those who knew him, uh, and I I really wanted uh, to be involved in that because I felt like that was an area where I could help. Uh, in, in the area of organizing, of of getting, of getting people together, and of kind of uh, trying to make the university a safer place, and uh, not let Cameron's name be tarnished, you know. Yeah, yeah. So was, I, I wanted to keep his legacy alive, and I felt like that's something that I was kind of called to do, you know. Uh, I mean, even like Cameron w would say, you know, just just go do it, you know. And uh, so that's something I felt that I had, I had to just go out and do, and uh, really be involved with, and I, I felt like that's. That's uh, you know, uh, what he would have wanted. Yeah, and uh, you know, I always just kind of really uh, was kind of in awe of you of the ability that um, and everybody you know, because yeah. like I don't want to make it sound like you yeah, were yeah. the one that got us through this. I mean, there were a slew of different mm -hmm. people that were uh, associated uh, with his passing at UIW that really stepped up and and we all went to the funeral together. 
but um, it was just something where I, all of y'all really stepped up. But I mean, I just were here talking to you, so I, I really recognized how you were able to one show emotion, but also like show uh, solidarity with everybody, mm -hmm. and also uh, work with the university to kind of bridge a gap. You know, kind of uh, bring some dialogue and some understanding to to kind of both perspectives of what happened and. I've always really respected that about you. I've always thought it was, uh, I don't know, just it's something that I hope you you continue to do as like you go uh, on your journey of life beyond even just your entrepreneurial uh, uh, work, but but uh, uh, in like life in general. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I mean, like one of the things that I know you mentioned earlier was like public speaking, you know, and mm -hmm. being able to get up there and kind of bring these two groups together so I mean like I, I've always felt that that was something that that I was good at that I could do and that, that was something that I wasn't good at for a long time because I had a stuttering issue growing up and I couldn't like put words together to save my life and then uh, it was like in high school I guess middle school I realized that that I could you know I, I, if, uh, if I was talking to a large group of people in front of them I could very very easily say what I was gonna say and so I realized that like I think communication could be a way that that I could help other people and that I could kind of make a difference in their lives uh, more so than uh, than um, than just uh, working behind the scenes. I felt like being uh, being being upfront, being kind of a spokesman, was a way to do it. You know, and uh, that's what I, what I wanted to do. You know, I wanted to use that when I uh, you know when, when the, the camera situation happened and uh, try to bridge the the university, which was. This is, you know, this side over here, yeah. and then bridge, you know, the students and, and the Cameron's friends who are on this side over here, and kind of maybe bring some balance to them, you know, yeah, and yeah. And, uh, and go to the university and say, hey, look, you know, I know you're seeing it this way, but this is what happened, and I think these things need to change in order for, you know, for it for it to happen, you know, for uh, for us to progress, and so that's that's what, what I try to do uh, during that situation. Yeah, yeah, and. Um... You know, it's something that I, to this day, uh, five years later. Yeah, five years. Wow. Yeah, it'll be five years uh, next week. Wow. And, or no, two weeks from two weeks, now. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, we'll be having a, a a vigil for him and everything. We're working on that right now. Mm -hmm. But, um, but yeah. So uh, to shift gears a little bit uh, and keep on of uh, talking about helping others, uh, we do have a project that we're working on, uh, Johnny and I. And uh, I guess we could talk a little bit about it. And, Isn't uh, too secret. Yeah, it's 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 coming it's coming to fruition. It's uh, we have been we're secretly academics. Kind of yeah yeah secretly yeah. Yeah, I mean one. Of I'm things, hiding mine a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> we've 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 always, you know, we like production a lot and we mm -hmm. like making stuff. But mm -hmm. one of the things about you and I both is that uh, we do like theory a lot and we do like thinking about how things are done. And so, um, over the past, what, three months? Yeah, I think like the last two, three, maybe even four months, yeah. Yeah, we've been going back and forth about uh, like some kind of new field of study we'd like to do. Entrepreneurial communication. Yes, entrepreneurial communication. And so, um, we kind of thought about all the different fields we could study and uh, all the different spaces that uh, we could work together on. And I, I definitely felt like when we came up with entrepreneurial communication, um, it sounded dry enough for, it to, for, for the academics to be like, oh, that, that sounds like a good idea. And crazy enough for us to be able to be entrepreneurs about. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> and then have like an entrepreneurial spirit. Like perspective to, going for it. Yeah, yeah. to how we, how we kick this off. And uh, one of the, the topics that you're working on right now is kind of like social good entrepreneurial yeah. communication. Yeah, exactly. You want to talk about that a little bit? Yeah, so, uh, so I'm looking specifically into Aaron Schwartz yeah. and, uh, and his, his vision of entrepreneurship and, uh, and the way that he imagined, uh, or that he imagined entrepreneurship as, you know, should be. Yeah. And, and so, you know, I would call it, uh, as you know, like, Aaron Schwartz was very big into uh, was it what they call online free culture, yeah. and uh, and you know he got he got a lot of that from Lawrence Lessig, of course. But but even uh, even before Lawrence Lessig, it was something that that he always had with him, right. and and he, he really believed in. And so 
he, you know, he, he launched several companies, uh, it was, uh, the last of which kind of merged with Reddit and, and he became a Reddit founder for a little bit. And, uh, was, and, uh, it, but he wasn't happy just being part of Reddit. He wasn't happy just, just making the money from Reddit and sitting back and working as, as part of Reddit, even though he was a huge part of Reddit. Uh, he wanted something more. He wanted to be able to help people access information and have, have people be able to uh, really kind of, uh, no matter who they are, uh, be able to have access to academic information uh, as well as literature, uh, uh, you know, uh, all, all online on the web. And so using the web as a tool for social good and using his companies and his influence as a tool for social good also. So uh, I really, I think it's really interesting, his perspectives as an entrepreneur uh, and um, basically like his, uh, his mindset, his mentality. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, one of the cool things about uh, working with you is that uh, we get to kind of look at someone like Aaron Schwartz and talk about him as, as an entrepreneur. And then we also get to talk to him about him as an activist. Yeah. As uh, as a human in general, yeah, and kind of what he had to go through in order to achieve that, and um, and then also uh, uh, see like you know how can we take what he's done and communicate it to other people, and also like uh, how can we innovate from it? How can we think about you know what what uh, what we can use from what he's done and say you know well how do we create social good entrepreneurial communication like how how do we create a way to communicate uh for entrepreneurs that inherently has social good built into it yeah and that's a good uh, question though yeah yeah so maybe you should write a paper about that i know i know <laughs> maybe it should be a whole uh, you know area of study about that <laughs> yeah exactly so um but yeah no that's a really cool uh, uh topic that we've been working on and we're going to be releasing a website soon about it and uh, and John is going to be writing some papers. I'll probably write some oh, yeah. blog posts. Some more of a blogger. Johnny's more of a writer. I like writing. Yeah, yeah. So, um, anyways, I just wanted to test out how it was to interview people, and I thought this would be a good first interview. I appreciate you so much being on my small little podcast. No, this is cool. It's 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 very Joe Rogany. Yeah, it's very. <laughs> Very Joe like, very Joey like, like. Joey like, very Joey's <laughs> podcast like. No, but yeah, no, Joe, Joe Rogan definitely uh, has some great, great people to interview. Oh yeah. Um, anyways, thank you so much for being on my show, and I hope you enjoyed it. Awesome, thank you.